This is Therapist Clubhouse, a podcast for private practice entrepreneurs. I'm Annie Schusler. This is a mini-sode of Therapist Clubhouse. I wanted to give you this as a little extra Mother's Day present. I was on my friend Rebecca Wong's podcast called The Practice of Being Seen just a little while ago. On her podcast, she takes deep dives with change makers. In our conversation, we took a dive into motherhood. I'm going to give you just a little snippet of the conversation now. And if you want to hear the whole thing and to check out Rebecca's other wonderful episodes, you can find it wherever you're listening to this. It's called The Practice of Being Seen. So our little snippet starts right when I'm talking about whether I need to produce this podcast, Therapist Clubhouse, every week or not. And we're really talking about the rhythms of life. After this snippet, we get into all kinds of stuff about race and privilege and creating a business and finding time and energy for what matters most. Just because that would be a good thing with some advantages, does that mean that it's the right way for us to do it right now? No, or, I yeah. feel like it's I'm, I'm like I'm really feeling that no really loudly. Yeah, good. And I I think part of that is we I think especially in in our roles as mentors and therapists and mothers and all of the things all of the different hats we wear, we have to really model self care. Mm-hmm. Right, and and so much of that is about noticing where those spaces are where we're at that edge, and if we. We could keep pushing. It's not so hard to keep pushing, but something mm-hmm. something gets left behind if we do. And mm-hmm. oftentimes it's ourselves because we're the last thing we attend to. Mm-hmm. So for me, it, I, I feel like in order to really protect against burnout, really to make sure that I'm not even teetering close to burnout, I have to pull back on some things to make space for other things. And the things that I want to say yes to this summer are splashing in the water with my kids. Yeah. And maybe you kind of have to notice it, which I think you've helped me notice it. Notice it before it gets anywhere close to burnout, like you said. Uh, Notice it when it's kind of, oh, wait a minute. Is this the best way for me to be, you know, working my rhythms? Is this the best way for me to be working my family's rhythms? I love that. Or is there something that has to shift? Yeah. Yeah. Is this the best way to be working our rhythms? That's just... Oh, that makes me think a little bit about Maya Benatar. Me too. (laughs) Speaking about influences, yeah. Let's just drop into what our rhythm is and start noticing that. I've been thinking a lot that it's like a season. You know, we go through, it will, depending on what part of the country we're in, we have seasons modeled for us differently, but we go through four seasons every year, right? There's a fall, there's a winter, there's a spring, there's a summer. And so there's all these different states of expansions and contractions. And motherhood is just like that. I mean, it literally, we start in a state like that where we're going through all these literal contractions to give birth to something. Yeah. Or at least somebody is. One of my kids is an adoptee, but definitely (laughs) came from, (laughs) he definitely came from, you know, a wonderful person birthing him. Well, even there, I'm sure that there were some, you know, emotional contractions that were happening. Totally. You know, so, um, yeah. Yeah. What does it take to bring somebody into your family? Mm -hmm. Open your, open your heart and your arms to, to becoming a mom. Yeah. I think too, Rebecca, probably for both of us, like there are the people who are drawn to working with us and end up knowing that it's the right fit to work with one of us, probably that's part of what they're drawn to is this feeling that we're pretty interested in helping people find the right rhythm. That of course we want people to make money and you know be successful in that way, but that also we really focus a lot on what's going to be right for you. What is, how is it that you want to feel in addition to how much money do you want to be making? Yeah, I totally agree with that. I think that how do you want to feel piece is, is central for both of us in mm-hmm. the work that we put out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't know if I weren't a parent. I mean, maybe because I've been a parent since I was like 30. So I don't know what I would be like. But for me in my journey, I know that figuring out like how I want to feel, how I want my life to feel has been always going along with how I wanted to be a parent. Yeah. 
Thanks for listening to this mini-sode. I will see you for our regular episode of Therapist Clubhouse on Tuesday.